Hi folks, this is Dr. Rob Sivis. I am the Carb Addiction Doc. And with me is my wife, uh, Janae, the Carb Addiction Mom, and uh, little Rion, the uh, Carb Addiction Kid. And actually, he's pretty much a carnivore. Uh, so as you can see, the carnivore diet does not leave you fat deficient. Hi, boo. <laughs> um, and today what we're going to talk about is how we are feeding and raising Rian. One of the sad, sad, sad events uh, that you may be familiar with of that happened to Janae, she had postpartum depression. And as part of that, because of the depths of that postpartum depression, one of the things that we did decide to terminate uh, because she was having some difficulty is breastfeeding. It was massively disappointing. Not only that that was taken away from Rian and from Janae uh, as a shared experience, nutritionally as well as from a bonding perspective, but Janae's mental health depended on that at that time. But the second great disappointment for us was when we looked around for uh, replacements for breast milk. It's something I've spoken about a lot. I am very attuned to uh, autism and particularly brain development um, in the first four to five years of life because the brain is structurally developing and giving the brain adequate substrate to develop normally. So. Uh, one of the things that we did not feed him were the standard American formulas, which are very high in carbohydrate content, deficient in saturated fat, and very high on uh, plant-based fats, the soy-based fats, polyunsaturated fatty acids, because we all know saturated fat is so bad for us. So one of the things we tried, we played around with, was something, uh, I could get this by prescription, keto cal. Uh, not meant for um, newborns, but has a decent amount of DHA and ARA uh, in the formula. It is a ketogenic-based formula. It is by prescription. I looked at the contents, but it's difficult to get hold of. And um, he tolerated that, but didn't thrive on it. Um, what we then did, and, and what he's on now at six months, and I think we'll talk about this going forward. He's right at six months of age right now. Um, he just had his shots yesterday. Yes, he is fully vaccinated. He is fully vaccinated. Um, but he just had his shots yesterday. And um, the other thing is he's got six teeth now. He's got uh, four that are in and two more that are breaking. So um, he's struggling a little bit. Come on over here, my friend. Um, but the formula that we've um, obtained for him is this. And, and look at the language. It's Dutch. Janae's going to speak a little bit about the access of that formula because we could not find a U.S.-based formula for him. We've tried raw goat's milk, and the milks work okay, but this formula has been, and I'm not advertising it, I'm not uh, promoting it, but it is we had to look overseas to Holland to get this formula. Yeah, and I um, I did a ton of Googling when we were faced with, like Rob said, um, the disappointment of after about six weeks, I had to give end up giving up the breastfeeding. Um, so initially, we actually did start on Enfamil. Can I interrupt you for one second? Sure. Um, Rian's a little irritable, but guess what he's doing? This here is a magical, magical formula that I found after a detailed search that no other child ever consumes. This, folks, is something called water. <laughs> we'll come back to that in a second. Go ahead. Um, so I did a lot of searching on the Internet, and I finally came across this HIPP. Um, like, he, like Rob said, it's Dutch. Um, what I was doing was sending all the nutrition labels I could find on all the different organic, you know, um, healthy alternative formulas, and I would send them all to Rob, and everyone, he'd write back to me, it's crap, it's crap, it's crap, it's crap. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, finally, I got a hold of this this uh, nutritional label, and he said, wow, that's actually really good. So we started ordering this. Um, we actually order it through a company that's based out of California, but it is Dutch. And uh, so if you order it in bulk, it does take a while because they ship it from overseas. But um, anyway, I've been very happy with this. He likes it. Um, he's done well with it. And um, I think we felt a lot better about his nutrition once we were able to um, to switch this. And also, we started giving him real food, as you know, very early. Um, Before you go there, can I just talk a little bit about what I, what I add to this and what I've added to his formula? The first thing that I add is a teaspoon to a tablespoon of just regular 
heavy whipping cream. It is pure saturated fat, 3.5 grams of saturated fat. And we supplement his diet with straight saturated fat. That's cow's milk. It is pasteurized. Uh, it's not perfect, but at least it gets his saturated fat content up. And then the other, the other thing that we do, and I've spoken about this before, I use something called krill oil. Now, this is the krill oil uh, made by a company called Nutricost. It's a gram or 1,000 milligrams of DHA, and uh, it's got the EPA in it as well. And um, Janae took that throughout the pregnancy, and um, we, what I do very simply is I take one of these um, little tablets, little capsules. They look like this. And I use a hat pin, and I poke a hole in the hat pin, and we add that to a 24-hour bottle of formula uh, that we mix each day for him. And in a day, he gets those 1,000 milligrams of DHA. I give it to him every other day, not every day. But that is a good supplement for him. Hey, Bubba. And then, folks, the other thing that we do supplement with is just a little bit of Redmond Real Salt that we add to his uh, formula. Because the formulas are devoid of sodium, they're devoid of salt. And both the salt sodium chloride as well as some of the other minerals that come with it are a way to supplement his diet in exactly the same way we supplement ours. So that's the way we fortify his formula. We have also added um, vitamin D drops to his formula. He gets that every other day as well. And while he may not be vitamin D deficient, it's just one of those things, especially in the winter, while we're in Florida, uh, we still supplement with vitamin D for him because of his rapidly growing skeleton. And Janae's going to talk about when we started and how we began to supplement food. Um, so we started right when Rian was four months. Um, we were very anxious to start giving him real food, as you all can imagine. Um, and right from the beginning, we were um, very bold with our food for Rion. Um, you know, we didn't follow the standard recommendation that you can only introduce one food at a time, that you should start with rice, cereal, and fruit, and all those things. Obviously, we wouldn't do that. So we started right into um, steak, uh, chicken. First meal was ribeye steak. <laughs> First meal was ribeye which, steak. Which, by the way, we cut him a big chunk, and he was able to suck on it before he had teeth. Mm -hmm. We started that at four months. Once he got teeth, we found that he bit off chunks and we had a choke hazard, so we then went the pureed route once he had teeth. But he does get little chunks, small chunks that he can swallow. Yeah. So my background, some of you may know, is as a speech-language pathologist, so we are the experts in dysphagia, swallowing disorders. So I wasn't quite comfortable with him, like Rob said, with having um, the big chunks once he started getting a lot of teeth in. I know some people do with the whole baby lead weaning thing, which is fine. Um, but because we started him so early on food, because we wanted to get that good nutrition in, um, I just didn't feel like his swelling mechanism was fully ready for that. So we did um, start pureeing his food. Um, so yeah, lots of beef, um, lots of chicken, fish, um, cheese. I mean, he's had things like brie cheese. He's had very uh, bold food choices. Avocado, cottage cheese he loves. Um, every morning I make him eggs with that are um, scrambled in butter and with heavy cream in it. The other thing, let me just interrupt you. This is something else that we use. Uh, it's called ghee. Um, and this is something that we add to his food to enrich the fat content as well. It is a form of butter and uh, for those of you who don't know what ghee is, but he gets a little bit of that added to his food. It softens it up, it moistens it, and it adds a very, very rich amount of fat to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I um, I will either mix that actually into the eggs, or sometimes I'll just make that um, the eggs in that. And then I also add cheese, um, and then I throw it in. I have a small baby food maker. I just throw it in the blender really quickly, um, like I said, because I'm not 100% um, secure with the way his swallowing mechanism is just yet. So, um, and then he gets that healthy meal every morning um, to start out. And while he's eating real food, we, like Rob said, um, give him water. So we don't give him formula at meal times because um, obviously he could be filling up on the formula and we'd rather have him fill up on the real food. So, um, And then he gets three meals a day. Um, no snacking or anything like that. Three meals a day, three food meals a day. He does get still some of the formula mix 
um, uh, through the day as he needs that. And um, we've really, in the process of weaning, weaning him off that, the more he eats. And he'll eat a pretty decent amount three times a day. Um, he's just had his shot, so he's a little bit febrile right now and, and a little bit chatty. But, um, uh, you know, one of the thoughts that we've had is that we want to, we're very comfortable giving him as much of the necessary substrates for his body and brain development. We know that they are not causing harm with him. We have tested him for that. And from a functional perspective, from a milestone perspective, he's right on target. And um, we've just been very, very pleased, despite the adversity of not breastfeeding. Uh, we've been very, very satisfied with his progression. And we'll see. We'll see what the outcome looks like. We'll keep reporting back. But the one thing that we've never done, we've never bought baby food. He eats basically our food, what we eat each day. Janae will puree. The only thing we spent money on is the little puree machine. And that was a few dollars on Amazon. Um, but I think he's getting restless after doing two, two videos. So um, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you have any feedback, please let us know in the comments below. And certainly Janae is the Carb Addiction Mom on Instagram. You can contact her directly there, message her. She is very happy to speak about how we've gone down this journey. <laughs> and so, Rian wants to say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. <laughs> Yeah. We there hope we this go. helps. Um, we get a lot of questions about what we feed Rion. Obviously, you can see he's a very happy kid, even though he had his shots yesterday. Um, and and we've been very pleased with his nutrition. So happy to answer any questions for you all. And um, hope hope this helps. We'll see Bye -bye. you next time.